Hello friends. Welcome to the new Level TT channel. Channel, where all table tennis secrets are at one place. Today we take a look at first example in our series. We promised you to see table tennis from different perspective. For many of you it was rough journey so far, but we needed to build our theoretical foundation in the first place. We will use many of it, in this example. We are going to analyze footwork pattern of the living legend, the dragon himself. At this point we want to thank Mr. Krebs for the footage. For the analysis there is a beautiful rally that had rally length of 14 balls. That is pretty rare. Let's look at it. This rally was amazing on many axes, but today we analyze only footwork with the tools we know from previous episodes. We are presenting to you basics of our surf concept. Simple, universal, reaction framework. We will build upon it in the next episodes. So keep it in your mind. Firstly we focus on the trajectories played by both players. Then we break down trajectories with their relation to the footwork of the top players. This example will cause that you will never see table tennis the same way as you did before. It will open eyes of spectators, players and coaches so they all can see new horizons. You will enjoy the game much more. Without further ado, let's delve into the depths of the sport. You already know from previous episodes that the ball played safe has six beats. Those beats correspond to the three actions, where each action uses two consecutive beats. We explained first two actions so far. There is another action, but we do not have enough theory published for it yet. So we will use the term ready or recovery after hit in this context. During rally, those three actions combine into the footwork of the player and are repeated for every ball played. Split step, ball approaching, and recovery after hit. By conscious timing of those actions to trajectory beats we can obtain fluid movement very naturally. This actually makes positioning behind the table very easy. And in theory you can not lose to safe trajectories if you do these actions. So it is important to predict trajectories of an opponent. We will explain how dangerous trajectories affect this optimal footwork. Just focus on the fact that all actions are initiated before sound beats. Now we will try to decode thought process and movement of the dragon. We hope you will enjoy this example and if you did not subscribe to our channel yet, please do it after the analysis ends. This will be our motivation to share our knowledge with you in the future lessons. Thank you. We start our analysis after the recif. Whole service and recif game will be analyzed later in the series. We will see first move that is reaction based on landing time of the ball on opponent's side. In the short game, getting to the ready position will correspond to time right before the bounce of the ball. Now the cycle starts. He does the first action we are interested in, split step. This action is done before every ball. It's mandatory. We will mention the split step also in the episode dedicated to positioning. This will play important role too. We can see that timing of split step is based on opponent's move. Anticipation of rhythm governs split step parameters. We can see the ball traveling up the safe trajectory and Mar is already falling down. So he has plenty of time. After he lands his focus is shifted to the falling ball. He can adjust to the incoming ball and open the rally. 
Now he knows the trajectory of his shot will be very safe for the opponent so he immediately after stroke, synchronize the beat with getting to the ready position. This is very important stage in the rally, Sam is trying to seize the initiative and attacks Mars' weaker side. Because the trajectory is dangerous, Sam stole one beat from Mar, so he needs to react from his actual position. This gives Sam the opportunity. In this case things start to be tricky, because getting to ready position and split step are two consecutive jumps. So if you are forced to do only one, it must play both roles. Mar have to play defensively, because he is under lot of pressure. Even if recovery is not optimal for him, feet are ready to perform another split step that solves some troubles. Last ball created some balance problems. However, placement of the last ball caused some problems also to the Sam. This created the rhythm change, and Mar timed his split step little earlier. Mar does not want to give Sam time to recovery, but the ball is too far for him. Sam has vulnerable spot in his forehand, so Mar can now turn the tables with the full commitment backhand block down the line. So he jumps into it. Again Sam was able to play dangerously, but Mar already timed the recovery, so he is able to cover the table before the ball gets to his side. Mar played another backhand shot, slow across court this time, and changes the rhythm for the Sam. He sees that Sam is forced to play safe trajectory now, so he prepares for it. Now Mar has dominance. Trajectory was safe, but Sam was able to get back to rally with the almost game-breaking answer. Second bounce of the ball was so close to the edge that again roles of both players switched. This was chance to Sam. Sam missed opportunity, so now Mar creates almost identical scenario with slow forehand loop to get his dominance back. He does split step, wait for the ball, and wants to end the point with his forehand. So he pivots, because the ball flies to his backhand. He finished the point with behind the head forehand loop kill down the line. He is resetting again, but because he has the momentum, and the ball is already over, he let it dissipate by slowing down the run in the same direction. 